I'm going to read two pieces. First one's called The More Things Change, The More They Are the Same. The revolution has come, but there are no friends in high places. Our soldiers' brown uniforms with green epaulets, green lapels, have only changed to green uniforms with red epaulets, red lapels. Their guns still heavy loaded, iron faces with bullet tongues patrolling each street of our city. A family living a few doors down has disappeared. Neighbor still whispers to neighbor behind closed curtains. We don't know where, no nothing, nothing. Snows of isolation still loom in the ice-hard distance for any of us who have an unwanted thought our new great leader's picture looking down from every wall is listening to. Or for any who think that thought out loud where they hope for freedom on a bench in the park or under cover of a darkened door at night, becoming names that never were. Even our eyes have learned to shut down and be silent. And the second one, my last, is, was inspired by the Christmas season. It's called From a Lowly Barn. In a wind-chilled winter, long ago you came. Only a few knew your name back then, but you came. Didn't breathe the same as any of us, yet you came. To ease this foolish game we play among ourselves, is that why you came? Your words have brought you fame, as a star startling our firmament, years after you came. Words that some proclaim haunting me these days, while others say you came many times before like a flame, relit, flaring up, came not to blame us, nor to scold us for our lame, loony excuses. Though, sorry, but your name escapes me for the moment. You came for more? For me? For what? To tame my craziness, claim and enrich my soul, poor as it is? Ah, yes, yes, of course, of course, and to warm me too. Wind shivering as I am right now, stop by, stop by. I'm so glad you've come. <laughs>